September 1942, Brooklyn, New York. Deep within me, a sense of dread buzzes and crackles, an electrical wire threatening to short. I'm trapped by the stage lights, the performance well in motion. I assure myself that Charles's behavior, subtle oddities throughout tonight's tricks, falls within reason. It was at his prodding, after all, that a top New York critic agreed to attend. As a faceless judge in the shadows, the lone man can render a verdict that could pack future shows or trigger a decline. Even so, what I detect from Charles differs from nerves. Only with disciplined effort do I resist rushing through the grand finale. I distribute a padlock to each of the volunteers, two airmen, a banker type, and a trio of sprightly ladies. With all the poise and undulating cadence of a showman's assistant, I encourage their inspection. My narration flows out as programmed as a song on a player piano. On this stage alone, it's my fourth performance in two days. Stewing in a haze of cigarette smoke, aftershave, and floral perfume, the medium-sized theater could be any one of a hundred. The attendance is respectable at two-thirds full. Largely from the cheap seats of the balcony, periodic catcalls remain standard fare, with no help from my galling, if customary, outfit. Astoundingly, the sequined halter and mid-thigh skirt are rather modest for my role. Displayed on the prop table are two pairs of handcuffs and a set of minuscule keys. I'm retrieving them all when Charles reappears in the right wing of the stage to await my cue. He's traded his top hat and tails for a black bathing costume that hugs his lean build from shoulders to thighs, all in line with our usual act, save for the object in his grip. An axe. I bristle, less from startle than confusion. A stagehand was supposed to brandish the tool, not Charles, and certainly not yet. For a show that blends illusion and danger, from the magical mending and vanishing of items to mind-reading and death-defying feats, there's a purpose to every step, glance, and gesture, to timing above all. At the climax of the act, as fears arise over the escape artist's ability to elude his bonds, a harried display of the axe implies need for its imminent use, amplifying suspense. <laughs>